Hi, welcome to With Care. I'm here today during Child Passenger Safety Week to talk to you about car seat safety. I've partnered with CLEC, our Canadian car seat manufacturer, to talk about why rear-facing car seats really are ideal for our little one and why that rear-facing position should be used for as long as possible. As a child passenger safety tech, I get a lot of questions about this, so I think it's really important to go over the information so everyone understands it. I typically find that once parents understand the information and the research behind these recommendations, they're much more keen to keep their child in a rear-facing position for as long as possible. So why is a rear-facing position so important? Well, the first thing we need to remember is that these little people are not simply small adults. They have a different anatomy, which makes them more vulnerable to the impact of a forward-facing collision. We know from our injury data that our forward-facing and side impact collisions are the ones that create the majority of our major injuries, as well as our deaths. And so those are the ones that we really need to be looking at. When our babies are born and through their early period in childhood, their vertebrae have cartilage between them, not fully ossified bone like adults. This cartilage puts them at risk of having their spine overstretch in an impact, which could lead to paralysis or death. In addition to that, they've got a very heavy head proportionally to their body. You know, an example of this would be at nine months old, a baby's head to body ratio would be the equivalent of a 200 pound adult carrying a 50 pound head on their body. No matter how strong our neck is, that's an incredible weight. And especially when we're considering what could happen on an impact when it's pulled forward, it makes sense that it can cause more damage. Now, when a little one is in a rear facing position, the seat is doing the work. It's absorbing that collision and it really is doing the job for us. But once our children are turned into a forward facing position, it really is the harness upon their body that's doing the work. And so we would prefer that they're in that rear facing position, letting the seat do the work instead of their body doing the work for as long as possible. Now here in Canada, all of our provinces and territories set the absolute bare minimum for when a child can be turned to a forward facing position. But who wants to meet the bare minimum when we're talking about safety standards for our children? In both Canada and the US, the current recommendation is to keep our little one in a rear facing position for as long as the manufacturer of our seat allows. So that means getting to the point where we're reaching the max of either the weight or the height requirement for that particular seat. So in today's video, I'm featuring the Kleck Flump car seat. This is one example of a car seat that has really great rear facing capabilities. But as a car seat tech, I always remind families that you need to find what's right for your budget, your baby and your vehicle. We've had a Kleck for a while and I absolutely love it, which is why I reached out to them to collaborate. Um, and the reason why I love them is that they really are designed to meet international best practice. What that means is that they're able to keep our children in that rear facing position and then in a five point forward facing position for a very long period of time. So when we're talking about rear facing, 97% of our children on their fourth birthday will still be under the 44 inch maximum of this seat in the rear facing position. Also, the vast majority of them will still be under the 40 pound weight restriction for the rear facing position of the seat. That means that again, most of our children can be in a rear facing position in a seat until they're well into their preschool years. Now, with the addition of the infant thingy, by removing this top headrest and adding in these two components following the instructions provided, we can make this seat appropriate from five pounds and up, which really means it's a great seat for an infant rear facing all the way through preschooler and then again forward facing in a five point harness position, typically until our children are booster ready. The other reason why I love these seats is that they've got some key features that make them a little bit easier for install and use. One of those features is this rebound bar. This bar can be kind of wedged against the back of the seat, so the actual seat of your car, and be used to get the right incline. It makes it nice and stable once it's in there, and again, helps you get the correct recline depending on the age and stage of your child. The other thing I absolutely love about these seats is that underneath here, there are belt lock offs. That means that when we're switching over from the universal latch system to using the seat belt install, 
we've got a really nice secure lock off built right into the seat and I find a lot of parents really appreciate that. The additional feature of this particular seat is that it's called the Mammoth and it is the Merino wool fabric. Now this um, particular variation means that it doesn't need additional flame retardants added which is really really lovely. So this um, is definitely a little added bonus for our fourth baby who's being very spoiled with this luxurious seat. One of the myths I commonly hear perpetuated about rear facing positioning is that once our kids legs reach a certain length we must turn them forward facing or else we're putting them at their legs at risk of an injury upon a collision. That's actually not the case. Our injury data suggests that our forward facing children are the ones who have most leg injuries on collisions. And so as long as our child is still within the weight and height requirements for their rear facing positioning, we can have their legs down the side of the seat, up the back of the seat or froggy in without any concern. Sometimes it looks like they must be uncomfortable in those positions, but we must remember that our children are very flexible and definitely able to accommodate different positions than we can as adults. I also hear from a lot of parents that my kid doesn't like rear facing. I totally get it. But as adults, we often have to make decisions that our kids do not enjoy. And when it comes to their health and safety, we need to be the adults and we need to be the ones making these big decisions and carrying them out for our children every day. I hope this video helped you understand why a rear facing positioning really is ideal for our little ones for an extended period of time. Please don't hesitate to comment with questions below and don't forget to scroll down to get all of the links for the resources I mentioned in today's video as well as to subscribe to my channel so you can stay up to date of all of my educational and inspirational videos. Hope you have a great day. Bye.